my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and to this evening really <laughs> i was going to say today um and this evening um we're gonna get messages um from those that have passed and those that are to come now how did we arrive at this reading i'm gonna tell you so last night i was dreaming yes yeah, story time guys I, I promise i won't go long but it's important to know where this comes from so last night it's dreaming um and the first half of the dream i am there i'm in a truck i'm not seeing the person that's driving the truck but i know the road because this is a road that my grandfathers and the reason why i say grandfathers um even though i only knew well well his brother um they were identical twins okay and they had their hands in so many pies i mean um trucking business um gas stations um, aeronautics horse racing i mean they, so many different things um, um they did but i recognize i recognize this part of this road even though it looks much different now because it's actually a stretch of road that's named after them because they were the ones that cut this road um through this place um to give um to give shorter access into to create a shorter access road into the town at the time so I recognize it because people and even people even now people tell me, well, they tell my parents and stuff that um, they see my grandfather's walking there. So I guess even e even in transitioning, they're, they're not they're still working. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm listening and this person's telling me about how it was in the island in the 40s and the 50s and where the only truck that was on the island would be the truck that would take um, the diesel um, to um, the hospital and also had to run back and um, help up offload the ferry and all kind of different things that I'm enjoying because I've never had that experience of having a, a grandfather around or, or my grandparents except my grandmother died before I was born so I'm listening to all these stories and all of that I don't know who the person is but I'm feeling that it's my grandfather but I'm not sure so anyway, after, you know, we drive on the road and we just talk, suddenly it cuts away to another scene. And this time I'm in a car with my male best friend. When I tell you male best friend, like platonic, platonic, best friend, best friend. I can tell this person anything and he can tell me anything and he has, right? <laughs> so we're driving on this road and we're just chit-chatting about investments and that kind of stuff because he's that kind of guy, you know, real, he, he's just on the up and up. He's a, he's a... I mean, he misses calling. He's a medical doctor now, but he should really be um, in business. I really think that's full time because he just has it. He has it. Anyway, so we're talking about business investments, blah, blah, blah. And then we see this identical set of twin girls. Um, they're about late teens, maybe even early 20s or whatever. And then he starts muttering under his breath. And he's, I'm like, why are you muttering? He's like... These girls are such a bad influence, and I don't know why I get myself involved in this. I don't want my daughter um, associating with them. They're just running wild all over the town. Um, you know, it's like their parents have no control over them, and he's going on and on. And then he stops the car and tells them, um, get in the car, and he's going to take them home. I'm like, why are you even interfering, right? Like, if, I mean, if it is that you don't, you don't want to associate with this, these people, blah, 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 why are you even interfering? He doesn't tell me anything, and we drive um, to his home where I assume we're going to call their parents or whatever. Anyway, so he goes, he goes for a telephone or whatever it is. I don't know. He just kind of leaves the room. And I'm sitting there with these twin girls. Beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. Big hair. And you know, there's a, there's a kind of, they're, 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 they're queens, you know. They're so composed and poised. Um, and there's a kind of sensuality um, that's underneath. And, you know, you could feel the energy, um, spiritual energy also coming off of them. You know, it's Empress in the making, you know, so you're watching, I'm watching them. And then I start talking to them and I'm asking them questions, but they're not answering me. I'm like, oh, where are your parents, you know? Um, because obviously you guys are looking for attention. It means that you're being emotionally neglected at home and I'm telling them all these things. And they're watching me with a very scorpionic expression. And when I say scorpionic expression, you know what Scorpios do. Um, it's like they tell themselves, there's something I know. Uh, there's something that you don't know that I know. And I would tell you, 
but you know what it's so much more fun for you to stay there puzzled and figure it out anyway this is, this is the expression that they're hitting me right now so they're not answering so i really start looking at their faces now and then i was like but i know this face and then i was like but this is me this is me this these two look like me I see somebody else there, but there's this, these two are mine. They are mine. I'm like, but you are mine. And they're just there, sitting quietly. And then there's one, I think she, she has some kind of gift with her mouth because there's light coming out of her mouth. And then the other one has some kind of gift with her hands. I see the energy in their hands. And they're just sitting at me, sitting watching at me. And I was like, so why have you come to me if you're not going to talk and tell me what message you're supposed to deliver. And then, of course, Miss Smartass, she's like, we didn't come to you. You came to us. I said, what? She said, try to hug us and see what happens. And as I hugged them, I passed through them. So it is my spirit that has visited them um, in time. And I'm like, what is this? What is the message here? What is the message? And I'm so, and I'm like, well, why am I not with you guys? I would never just abandon you guys or anything like that. Or just, you know, um, have you unoccupied? Where am I? Um, did I die in childbirth? Um, um, am I dead from some kind of disease because I didn't take care of myself? Or where's your father? I know he would never abandon you guys. He loves children. And I'm just going on and on and on. And they're not answering. And then I just wake up because I'm absolutely perturbed by this whole thing. Okay. Um... So I call my sister in the morning. And of course, you know, Caribbean people, what's the first thing you ask somebody in the morning? Or what, what they dreamt the, the night before, right? So you say, what did you dream last night? So I'm telling her what I dreamt last night. What happened last night? And I'm like, is it that I die? Why are these, ch why are these children um, looking for attention? And I'm just, and she's like, well, maybe you get too busy working and you can neglect them. And I get the true chills. I get the true chills because I'm recognizing now that the journey from my four parents to those that will come is a journey of workaholism. So we have one set of twins there way back when, male set of twins. And then we move to um, another set of twins, identical female twins, way forward there, okay? Because way forward, they're, they're, they're in their late teens, 20s. And it's the same message of workaholism coming through so i'm realizing you know sometimes we figure out okay yeah healing is an ongoing process but you know i think i got this but clearly i didn't get it because what they wanted to tell me is if i continued along a particular trajectory that would be the outcome and that really disturbed me so it made me think that there are things that we are still not seeing, even as we sit here in Empress energy or Emperor energy, depending on who is watching, right? There are things that spirit is trying to bring to our attention and we're not listening. As the same workaholism that got me um, in healing jail, aka the hospital, right? <laughs> Earlier this year, if you guys remember. So, you know, I have to go back to the drawing, drawing board with how I manage my time. And I, I have noticed it, but you know, you're not already listening, right? <laughs> you're not already listening. But I have to listen because that is going to be the outcome. They showed me the outcome. Okay, so I have to do something about it. So tonight we're going to ask, you know, uh, what are you not seeing? What is the most important message um, that those that came before and those that will come um, want to bring to you at this time? Okay, so I hope that it's enlightening for you as it certainly was enlightening for me <laughs> last night. Okay, so we're going to go into, ask the elders first. Okay, go into this book of African divination. So. Um, hoping that it will help you. All right, so story time over. <laughs> let's let's go into the channeling. Okay. So let's let's see. Let's see. What is the most important message um, that spirit wants to bring to your awareness right now? That you may be ignoring. <laughs> That you may be ignoring. I'm open. It could be about you. It could be about your other person that um, impacts upon you. So what do we have here? We have questionable luck. What the hell is that? Okay. And it's a card number nine. 
Okay, what is this about? Questionable luck. The, I'm getting the... And I don't even know how it ties in with what you're not saying. Okay, 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 okay. Some of you guys are going to be tempted into some kind of... I don't know, get quick rich, get quick rich scheme or something that comes kind of easy. Spirit is saying, look at the fine print. Don't let lack mentality or scarcity consciousness push you into some, I'm really, I'm getting the word scheme guys. I'm getting the word scheme. I'm getting the word scheme. Some kind of easier path, some kind of easier path which is so freaking weird because I saw Erica Elmutz, check that, check it out. Erica Elmutz um, posted a reading today and I only had time to listen to like the beginning parts of the reading and she was talking about something like this. So check, check her out, check her out because this is exactly what's coming through. There is some kind of easier path or some kind of temptation. Um, that temptation could be um, choosing another partner out of fear. Now, there's no, there's, there's nothing wrong with choosing someone else or going a different direction. If it empowers you and makes you step into your power, okay. If your counterpart is playing the ass and you're not seeing the growth, by all means, right. But for some of you guys, it, it it's it's a temptation. It's a temptation for some of you guys, you know, you're there in that lack mentality. I'm chasing that paper. There's something that's going to come. That's going to look really easy and going to be really tempting. Okay. Spirit saying, watch the fine print. There's some kind of shit here. Spirit saying, watch the fine print. Watch. You have to really question your motivations. Um, about why you're going to choose a so-called or seemingly easier path. Dig deeper. Dig deeper. That's what I'm getting. I'm, I'm hearing the word scheme. I don't know what it is. I'm hearing scheme. There's something that seems easier, but it's not. It's a, it's a trap. It's a trap. All right. So let's see what is the message for the DF. Okay. What's the message for the DF? All right, we have escape from this. Listen to me. Listen to me. It says escape from deceit for woman. There is someone who is trying to hurt, harm, or injure you. Um, through feminine energy. Now, feminine energy is energy that is receptive this spiritual energy this intuitive energy um this is for dealing with fertility your creativity might even want to sabotage your projects but there's something here but spirit saying you're protected okay spirit saying you're protected um but you need to step into a higher awareness you have to turn on that intuition to see this coming something is coming masked something is coming masked something is coming at you and it's going to be masked as something um, interesting, something that will get, uh, engage your attention. Spirit saying, turn on your intuition. Turn on your intuition. And because this message about some, what you're not seeing, this could be your counterpart might be um, escaping from someone what a man or woman who may have been misusing um, their intuitive gifts. There's also that message. I'm going to pull a couple of cards so we can drill down as to what that is all about. For the masculine energy, we have disorganization. Okay. So it looks like um, your life is in chaos and it's like you, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing just how chaotic it is. Okay. But it looks like there's some kind of tower moment that's coming to you that's going to make everything come crashing down. And the reason why I say it's a tower moment, um, DM, is because we have card number 52, and that is the number of the divine. There's divine intervention here because it looks like you've been ignoring the chaos um, and disorganization um, in your life. That's what I'm getting. All right. So let's pull some cards here um, on these opening cards so we can really drill down. Um, to the, the main message. So there'll be other messages that are coming through, but Spirit is saying, 
um, these are the main messages. So let's see that message for a DF. Right, something is coming to an end. You see how that flew out there? Something is coming to an end. What is coming to an end? Something toxic. Something toxic. It's some kind of codependent energy within you, or it could be some kind of codependent energy um, connected to your partner. Look, it's a karmic situation. So I'm getting two things here. I'm getting two things. I am getting... Um, what you're not seeing is your counterpart. It looks like your counterpart is escaping from some kind of um, toxic or distorted feminine energy, which they were trapped in. You're not seeing that. That's one. But I'm also seeing Spirit is also asking you to escape from some kind of toxic feminine energy within yourself. And it could be anything. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. So there's some kind of distorted feminine energy within yourself. Spirit needs you to take a higher perspective um, on your life to see it. It's some sort of addiction here that Spirit wanted to bring to an end. It's keeping you trapped. It is a karmic lesson that you need to learn. So that is a message for the DF. What is the message for the DM with this disorganization card? What is he not seeing? His woundedness, star card in reverse. But this is also um, a card of karma, okay? Okay. Now we have Queen of Cups coming out in the upright. Now, now, in my readings, all reverse court cards are karmic energies. And all upright court cards are, fem are, divine, femi are divine energies. So this is you, Divine Feminine. What is he not seeing about you? Look, we have a tower moment. And look, an injustice. This is karma, this is karma. What is he not seeing? All right, what am I getting? Two, two main messages. One, he's not yet seen the enormity um, of the hurt and pain that he has caused you because he's been caught up in some kind of drama and chaos with a karmic energy. That's one. Two. He's not recognizing the distorted feminine energy within himself um, that needs to be balanced. Now, this could be an abuse of intuitive gifts. Maybe he has been using his perceptive gifts to manipulate situations. Or this could be him um, being codependent um, on her energy. Whatever it is, spirit about to bring a tower moment. This is what he's not seeing. Everything is going to come crumbling down. And this is some sort of karmic return. Mm hmm. That's what I'm seeing here. Whatever karma he might be reaping at this time or about to reap, it is connected to the DF. It is connected to some hurt and pain um, with the DF. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because look, look the Empress here again. Look, you are here again. So if there's any disorganization, chaos, tall moments in his life, it's connected to some hurt and pain that he may have caused the DF. Is there, so there was an injustice, a karmic imbalance there. My God. I don't know. If you got something else, tell me down below, but that's what I'm getting with that. Anywho's. Um, let's get the messages. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to ask the elders, the ancestors, those that have, those that have gone, those that have transitioned, those that have a better view <laughs> right now. Those that have come before us or four parents, let us ask them, and what is the message right now? We have a princess of swords, somebody spying. Somebody want to talk about it, they're spying. What is the message for DF? 
we have the seven of seven of wands in reverse we have the six of wands in reverse and we have the king of swords so fire and air with this aquarius card and for the dm what is he not saying or whatever is the message whatever is the message we have the five of cups we have the three of cups in reverse and we have the ace of cups okay what am i getting here they have they, they, they're asking you to release your pride and ego okay it looks like your pride has been wounded by whatever has happened in this connection okay so right now um you might be uber defensive they're asking you to be vulnerable hell um that's a tall order <laughs> they're asking you to be vulnerable um to release that pride your pride and ego has been wounded and that's why you've been erecting um barriers and not boundaries they're asking you to be vulnerable here with a seven of wands reverse okay they want you to release this pride that you have this pride and ego and they want you to communicate clearly um, about what you want but there's also a message here that communication is coming into you um but you have to open up your heart and be receptive to the communication that's coming in because it looks like dm is coming in to communicate um but they want you to receive this communication in your heart space for dm and they want you to make meaning out of your pain. They want you to learn to love yourself um, from all this pain that you went through. Okay? Step fully into self-love. So look your hair. You're at the five of cups. That shame, regret, mourning, grief. Look you in the back here. Your back is turned. Okay? Right? You're there crying in the corner. Spirit is saying, right now, you have to recognize um, that everything that happened... Um, you know, this craziness with a third party situation, a breakup, it looks like a breakup with a third party um, as well, as well as what transpired um, with your dear for just to push you um, into self-love, for you to release any kind of codependent energy, um, any kind of addictions and really manifest a new beginning for yourself because it doesn't matter what you did in the past, you too deserve love and this is what the ancestors um, want you to know. So don't let your pain, your regret, your shame um, prevent you from manifesting love right now in this present moment. Okay. What do those that are coming after? And now my third eye is throbbing now with this. What are those that are coming after? Looks like it takes a lot more energy to tap into them though um what do they want you to know i'm using these unicorns unicorn cards with, for them we have ten of wands so the message for both of them is to release the baggage from the past okay release the baggage what is the message from those that will come for df we have the five of wands We have <laughs> the seven of wands reverse. It's almost the same message in it. And then we have the queen of cups reversed. Oh, wow. Queen of cups, that's a karmic energy. And what is the message for the DM? We have the six of pentacles yeah, that's the card of karma again we have the hermit in reverse that's also kind of balance that's what i'm getting with that and we have the star okay so what is the message for you um for df it's more of the same um they're recognizing that right now you feel conflicted 
okay it looks like one part of you wants to close off your heart and the other part of you wants to be vulnerable and not sure what to do but they're asking you now to open up your heart space come out of that distorted feminine energy and be vulnerable because you have discernment now there's no need um for you um to erect all these um, barriers in front of yourself you have discernment you're gonna know if somebody's playing around with you energy can't lie okay so there's no need to be so um protective um where you're shutting people out and you're actually erecting walls okay um for the divine masculine um they want you to take action come out of hermit mode here and make things right because it's a card of balance okay there's some kind of um, pain or injury here and it looks like um they ask him to come forward and make things right look there's some is asking for forgiveness here this is the only way and you know and they're also asking you df um to be humble as well both of you guys so humble yourself that's what i'm here humble yourself so that you guys can heal the situation so both of you guys need to come out of your pride and ego they're asking DM to take action, but they're also asking DF to also be humble, okay? There's not a time to be pelting back things um, in people's faces. It's a time um, for you guys to heal this connection. But they're also letting you know that you should, you should also take the time, DM, um, to heal before you even attempt this. Because if you come towards this wounded, um, you're going to say things that you don't mean. They're just going to be reacting, okay? What is the advice? For the counterparts, for those that have gone before, what's the advice? Underneath the deck, protection guardian, drop your shields. <laughs> That's both of you guys. Right now, you guys are so guarded. Spirit is asking you to be vulnerable. Um, and to step into your heart space. Okay, drop your shields, right? Drop the shields. All right. So what is the message for DF from the ancestors? And what is the message for DM? And from those that will come. And for you, those that will come. Okay. So let's see for you, DF. They're saying, Hunter, trap down your fears and desires. So this is about uh, step into that energy of being fearless. Okay. Um, whatever fear you have in your heart um, that's making you so guarded, Spirit is saying it's time to face that head on. Whatever it is. Whether it's an insecurity or something that happened in the past and you're afraid of the repeat, identify it and face it. Okay? And that's the only way. Track down your fears and desires. Um, step towards what you want. Okay? And from those that will come, it has simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. So this is also, remember we've been getting a message about decluttering. Um, it's also about reprioritizing, which is the message that I got right. It's about reprioritizing and really taking care of yourself because you know there's this unicorn running free and um, with their loyal companions so this is a time to um you know get grounded get out there in nature um spend time with loyal friends and loyal people okay really tap into your emotions um and your heart space and move into the vibration of love we see these two duckies here and the light okay step into the light okay don't let your fears overtake you and for the DM, for the, from the ancestors, we have the warrior. Same thing. Be fearless and stand strong. So it's about standing up for what you believe in and fighting for what you believe in. Okay, you are a warrior. Okay, so fearless energy for both of you guys. Whatever fear is making you guys um, be so guarded and to step back from each other. Spirit is saying, don't let it conquer you. Step forward. And then they said, believe in yourself. So believe in yourself, DM. See yourself doing well and you will. So it looks like DM has been kind of awfulizing um, and they're just ruminating in all kinds of negative and low vibrational energy. Woe is me, la, 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 la. You know what that kind of stuff? Because there is, there are things that are going wrong. There's disorganization and chaos, 
right, in his environment. But Spirit is saying, right now you have to put your mind on positive things and positive things will happen to you. But the main message is to face your fears. Don't let fear keep you trapped. Don't let fear um, allow you to close off your heart and close off yourself um, to your counterpart, okay? All right, my loves, that was your reading. Grateful for your likes, share, subscribe, dislikes, comments. They all help the channel grow. And take care. Bye.